your data flow should have the capability to take the decision whether it need to work on the existing row or to create the new row or to remove the unwanted row based on the primary key column hey everyone this is prashant choudhary i welcome you all to my channel classy power app in this video i am coming up with a scenario where you find that some time back your client has asked you to use one column as a primary key column and your data flow is configured on the basis of that only but later after some months your client says no please don't use that column instead use another column to get compared so how you will handle such type of scenarios in this video i'll just show you the scenario and how we can implement that so let me just take you to my screen here i'm on my power platform and i have opened a table it's my data flow okay it's my data flow the sharepoint my source of my data flow is my sharepoint and destination is as always data words only here i have this two column title and price in the sharepoint we have the id column that can be used as a primary key column but rather if someone come and say please don't use id column as the primary key column and they said please try to use the combination of title and the price as a primary key column and based on that only your data flow should update the existing rows of the data words or to add the new rows so how you are going to handle such type of scenarios in that case as in the previous run itself you have already created the data words table for this particular table of the sharepoint in that case in order to handle this one more thing what we need to do you need to create a one column we'll come here and then create a column we'll say it as a as a title ATL title underscore price we are making it as a single tag single line of text and then save once we created this column that it create why it is taking time to get created okay now it has created we again come back to the outlet now our duty is to set the key for this column now we open the key and we can see we already have a key which is based on the id now if i just try to update this see it is disabled i can't update because this one i have created when i was doing this i was running this data flow for the very first time so what i'll do i simply read this key and in and instead i will create a new key instead i create a new key give it as a name as the same primary score key and then select that column where is that select that column to map to this key and then save once i hit this save button now my data will start treating this column as a primary key column for this table now i need to configure my data flow to use this column i'll come to this edit and then here's my outlet i have already created the merged column in the last video itself you can just check it out how i have created this one and it's just a combination of my title and my price okay now i'll just go to the next and here I need to reset these things. See, the type this column is already there, but the, there is nothing selected in this key. That's what it will make the problem. So we'll reset the setting first and then select the table one more time. So it's the outlet, CRS is the outlet, and then we'll select the key. Now our key is title and price, and we'll pass the combination to this one custom title as title and price as price modifier on these things i'm not passing anything 
now i have enabled this delete row so that if some row is not there in my sharepoint and that row is already sitting in my database then it should be removed because that become unwanted row for me now just publish this and now it will run and do the modifications accordingly okay so it will take a little time like saving and publishing and once it get run it would be ready for use like it will take some time okay i'm just pausing this in the meantime now my data flow has completed its job it's time to check the results i come to my date my table and earlier my column name was that i was using as a primary key was the id so now nothing is there in my id i need to add that column so it was the title underscore id title underscore price sorry add this and then we can check all values are here now if you do any update into the title or the price it would do the same work if there is no row find for this particular id then it would create a new row inside the data words otherwise it will update or remove okay based on the condition that it will met so that is all in this video everyone so hope you got to know how we can change the keys inside data flows to make the effective data flow okay so thank you everyone thanks for watching this video have a nice day